Hello, my soccer universe. Yeah, went yesterday to the doctor and basically told me uh, the way you are rest, sleep, stay in bed as much as you can, otherwise, you will get seriously sick. So, that's what I'm doing. But you know, when you cannot fall asleep, what more fun to do than do some videos and then go back to sleep again? That's how you get better, I guess. Um, we are doing what to watch for uh, this upcoming weekend. Um, I already did the one for the Premier League, so I will just sub it in. You will get a weird <laughs> Madrid Barcelona. I'm wearing Madrid. We'll see uh, why. Well, uh, uh, in in a while why. Uh, but yeah, I decided to not shoot that again. But let's look at a few other leagues. There are quite some interesting games uh, in there. Uh, and we'll start in Spain, where, yes, the big one is Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid, although I don't expect it to be a good game, but again, it's on the Saturday 4 o'clock spot, where all the good games in Spain currently are. Um, if I look further, I have to say it is a little bit hard to find a really exciting game. Uh, Barcelona Levante could be many goals in there, but I'm not sure with the way Barcelona is playing of late. Athletic Club Getafe on the Sunday 4 o'clock spot is also, uh, I think, one that could be of interest, but you know, Getafe is also a kind of team that is not. Uh, known for the offensive prowess, so we have to see, um, but you know, there is at least one big one in there, although I do not expect a huge game there, but I guess I will still watch, I will not be able to watch much on Sunday, I guess, if I get better, because yeah, my daughter has another birthday celebration and I better be present there. Let's move straight to the Premier League. Um, I think the Saturday first game, Leicester City against Chelsea, is probably one of the more interesting ones, uh, especially since Leicester has been a little bit wobbly. I mean, they still have to play now. Chelsea well, is a little bit wobbly, so that could be an interesting one. And it's also one where, yeah, Champions League implications are in there. If there's a winner, that team might look good uh, for the rest of the season. Another one, Liverpool, Southampton. Given that Southampton had been of great form as of late, that's surely an interesting one. The late slot, Manchester United against Wolves. I'm not so excited about that one, especially since in the FA Cup, both of these games uh, where United in the end won were rather drab affairs. Burnley, Arsenal. Yeah, if you're a fan of either of these, I think you're going to watch. And then Spurs against City is the big game. But hmm, yes. They played crazy matches last season, especially in the Champions League. I just, I think the lust is a little bit gone, especially with Spurs being so dreary. And yeah, Mourinho didn't help matters here. Moving to the Bundesliga. Um, Friday evening, a very interesting Hertha against Schalke matchup. Um, uh, Blue-white, probably Piontek will uh, be already playing for Hertha, or at least he's now... Uh, rumored to be at Hertha, uh, Schalke needs to rebound from the um, uh, loss to Bayern. But yeah, uh, it could be a make or break for both of these teams. I think uh, Hertha needs to win to not get into relegation trouble, Schalke to stay in European uh, contention. Uh, Mainz is hosting Bayern, Dortmund playing uh, at home against Union. Uh, yeah, they lost the first game, so that could be interesting. Um, but the big one in Germany is for sure the 6.30 game. Uh, that one I'm looking forward to between Leipzig and Gladbach. I think that's going to be uh, a pointer. Who of those can stay in contention for the title? Uh, the Sunday games again leave me rather cold. I have to say, Italy for once also leaves me rather cold, and uh, part of it is because Sunday I will not be able to watch uh, much. Sassuolo, Roma could be interesting, Calia Parmi, poten Parma potentially. The big one is the 12-30 game between Juve and Fiorentina, but to be honest, this has not been a huge rivalry as of late. I mean, it's more for the fans than on the pitch, so also kind of leaves me cold. Atalanta Genoa could be some goals, let's see. Milan plays Verona, that's a trap game, because Verona is doing really, really well at the moment, so uh, let's see about that. The late game between Udin and Inter, not sure what to think about that, and Sampdoria and Napoli sounds like a classic matchup, but... Um, <laughs> Also not there. So Italy, not that great. Maybe this will enable me to watch some French soccer again. Um, 
we have Ren Nantes, that's a derby, although from what I gather, none of these teams are really to be expected to make it into the Champions League qualification at least. But you know, that sounds like an interesting uh, matchup, and, and it is, as I said, a derby. Uh, PSG plays at home to Montpellier, so there will be lots of goals. Um, the big one, to be sure, is uh, Bordeaux against Marseille on Sunday at 9 o'clock. Nice-Lyon also uh, could be an interesting uh, one, but you know. At least there are two big, uh, nominally big matchups, uh, North Western Derby and uh, Southern Derby. And then we have another big one on Sunday in the afternoon, and that's Ajax against PSV. Gotta be said, uh, it's probably not that... Um, uh, yeah, since PSV is kind of uh, trending down, so uh, we have to see if it, it's, a, it's really that big, but Ajax needs to get back on track, especially since Alkmaar probably will get a win on Friday evening, so they will be under pressure, and they might be level on points. Uh, other than that, yeah, uh, not much that I can say, but Ajax PSV for sure is the big matchup there. Well, I think that I'm at Madrilenio, the big clash in Germany, are must watches and I'm actually contemplating Bordeaux against Marseille because that um uh, yeah that was the Spurs City matchup uh that yeah we also that is also in there in contention anyway let me know what you'll be watching and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos and I'll talk to you soon bye hey there I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.